Hello and welcome everyone, this is Omar al Hadi again with another GIS tutorial and today we want to design this snazzy looking Firefly map using ArcMap. First, I wanted to know that I'm really embarrassed because I had announced that I'm going to publish this tutorial, but then I didn't. As you see, I have moved to Oman and started working here in the International Petroleum Institute as GIS instructor and IT nerd. And we are still looking for qualified people to join us, so it will be very nice if you can come and join us. So, let's head back to our tutorial. As we said, we want to design this fair fly map which represents the significant earthquakes in January 2020. So we need two things for this map to be designed. First we need the earthquake data which we will download it right now and also these point symbols which you can find in the URL in the description below. So first we will search for earth Earthquake, uh, earthquake CSV, yes, and head to the first URL for now CSV USES earthquake hazard. So open this URL and wonder. Uh, I think they have some issues with their CSS files because the website shouldn't look like this but our data is located uh -huh, here uh, as you see this for the past hours past day the earthquakes in the past seven days and the past 30 days so we need this file okay as you see uh, it is classified to five classes First you have all earthquakes and then you have earthquakes with magnitude above 1, earthquake with magnitude 2.5 and above 2.4 and above significant earthquakes. I think in my perspective 4.5 is also significant. So I will download it. Just one click and it will be downloaded. Opening folder enter and here's our data so you have all of these fields but the most important ones are the latitude and longitude also the magnitude so i will take this file copy and move it to the firefly map which you will download it from the description and paste my file here now I am done. Let's head back to our map, and from here you can see this is our Firefly map data. We want to add this file right now to the map, and so from File, Add Data, Add XY Data, hit Browse, and choose the file which you downloaded, and click Add. Automatically, it will get the latitude and longitude. And for the coordinate system, you should choose WGS 1984. Why? Because as you see here, in the description section, click on latitude. You can see the coordinates are given in WGS 1984. So, we will choose that coordinate system. So, okay, yeah, 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 okay, great. Here's our data, but it is just a reflection or events. We want to save this data, so okay, right click data, export data, and I will export it into my file, Firefly map, and name it Earthquakes underscore jan 2020 enter 
yes I want to add it and remove this layer you are good to go and import now our country's shape file and now everything is ready next we will start designing our map by first heading to the properties of our data frame and from the frame tab change the background and choose black okay now change the symbol for the countries for the field color choose gray 80 and the outline is gray 70 okay nice next step is changing the symbol for the earthquake and this from the properties head to the symbology tab and classify it by quantities graduated symbols from here we will use the magnitude field and five no I want six classes let's say for example okay nice now what I want to do yes I should change the symbols by clicking on each symbol then why I cannot click this yes now click edit symbol and from here we want to choose this type of symbol it is named picture marker symbol choose this one and as you see you will get this window from where you can choose the image for the symbol and if you see this folder is located in the firefly map as i said you can download it from the description so i have these points and also these symbols you should choose this and use it for practicing and send me your beautiful map after you are done but now you will use this set of images and we have let's see from 0 to 6 we have 6 or oh, sorry we have 7 images but we have 6 classes so i will start from 1 of png okay okay repeating the same step for the next point yes edit symbol but now instead of clicking here and choosing picture marker symbol you see you can use the scroll button to scroll up and down scroll up and down so when you find yourself at the bottom just scroll one time up with your scroll button yes just like this choose the to the png okay okay next 3 the png yes repeat this step for all of the symbols if you can't find a quicker way please send me an email it caused me a headache 5 okay and finally six for png okay 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 beautiful but there is a small issue the points are very small so we want to change the size of these points and we can do that from this menu you see you can change the size like this but again you'll have to repeat this step for all of the points and we will do that with a better way head again to the properties and from the symbology you will find here advanced options where you can change the size for all the classes so hit size and as you can see you can choose random sizes for each point or you can use a field from the attribute table like for instance the magnitude field and here the sizes will be 4.5 4.7 5 and so on but we want bigger sizes and so we will hit the calculator or the acceleration builder and from here i will say let the size be the magnitude multiplied by 4 yes this will make it 4.5 times 4 
and the size will be much bigger. So apply. Oh, nice. The last thing I want to do here is changing the label. Let's make it 4.5 plus 4.7 plus 5.0 plus 5.3 plus 5.6 plus and 6.0 plus nice also we will change this from mag into magnitude yes so we are done designing our map and now let's head to the view layout view first change the size of your paper from file page and print setup i don't want to use the printer paper settings and so i will uncheck this and write down 20 inches in width and 10 inches in height okay repeat the same sizes for your data frame by hitting right click on the data frame anywhere and choose properties head to the size and position place the width 20 and the height 10 and for the position let it start from 0 0 which is this corner here below on the left side of the paper and click ok full extent and i think we need to zoom uh, zoom in a little bit beautiful last thing use the pan tool and drag this map to this position nice now what we are missing yes the title and the legend insert a title significant earthquakes in January 2020 I'm not sure if I wrote this right significant yes it is correct main my English language is very bad okay now the title is totally in black so we have to change its color from properties change symbol now let's choose country 2 with a lighter color the size let it be 36 mm, okay that's enough okay okay good drag it here Fairly enough, and now add the legend, insert legend. We don't want to represent the countries, so sorry, go back one column here. The legend, legend, uh, the color, choose white. Uh, next, 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 finish. Yes, 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 okay. So again, we have to change the color of all the text in size. So from the properties of the legend, head to items and we will change the color but first we want to change the style and choose this style heading and label. Okay, now change the color into white and okay. Very nice. But let's change the size a little bit. Yes, much better. But there is some features here behind the text, and so I will go back to the properties. And from the frame, I will make the background totally black to make sure the text is clear and can be read easily so this is our map and it is very beautiful and as you can see 
this is where major earthquakes hit the earth and yeah i'm glad to be from sudan we do not have any earthquakes so yeah we are done so let's export our map export to the desktop and name it earthquakes january 2020 make sure to make the resolution high because the picture is very big save your map and you will get this map so thank you very much for watching see you later in another tutorial